Okay, Nicole, how are you doing? So I've got, um, let me see, we've got Dublin. Yes, okay, so I've got your paper up here for Dublin. And, um, it, you know, I, I think that one of the things I, I, that is kind of bugging me here is that I, I'm not familiar with the climate in Dublin. Um, and I think that's one of the really most important things that you have to address in this paper is can the climate host a Winter Olympics? I, I you know, boy, it just seems like I don't really think I can't just imagine pictures of snow and skiing and hockey and winter sports in Dublin in Ireland. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that's something you really, really need to consider there. Is it even possible for the location to host the event? Okay. Um, I, and, and you'll find and expose that answer. But when you do, if the answer is yes, it could quite feasibly host the Winter Olympics, or it couldn't. And if it couldn't, you'll have to pick another um, location. So one of the things I'd like you to think about in next week is to, I want you to think about um, writing the presentation following, kind of following this format here. And I've been asking all the students to do that because I think it will really give us a good common approach um, to looking at how each of us are developing our arguments and our bid to basically to influence our host city. So one of the things I like students to do is just take a look at these subsections here and use these for the subsections of your paper next week. Um, and, and address each and one of these verbatim stakeholder groups. Who are they? Why are they important? Client goals and objectives. What does that mean and why is it important? Okay, and I think that's really important to, to look at each and every one of these and expose the importance in each and every one of these on this list in your paper right here. Okay, so start out with your introduction and then go straight to stakeholder groups. The stakeholders for the 2022 Olympics are the International Olympic Committee, uh, local governments, blah, 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 advertisers, blah, 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 blah. Tell why each one is important. Client goals and objectives, uh, product, uh, service, product or service knowledge, which those basically mean who you're working as a designer for a organization, presumably that wants the Olympics to be hosted in Dublin. So what are the clients, what are that client's goals and objectives? Why do they want it in Dublin? And then what are the product and service knowledge of, um, of, of the, the project? Uh, levels of communication and interference or potential opportunities. That's a really important one right there, interference or potential op opportunities. For example, is that area a, call, a political hotbed um, that could potentially um, interfere with a successful bid for, for that location. Research past Olympic Games, study the cultures of the regions where the games will be held. That's important. That's where you're going to find your visual cues. Research forms of communications used in other Olympics. And that's like tickets and things like that, building signage and transportation buses and all sorts of different um, um, pro programs. And you can look at the um, examples that I posted for an idea there. And then create, create a plan of how these precedents may inspire your design solution. So basically, after you address all of these right here, okay, from stakeholder groups down to uh, write a report on your findings, I want you to kind of summarize by saying, okay, this is what I found, you know, this is what I found, and this is my plan, and this is how I'm going to use it. Kind of like what you did here a little bit, but, but more following this format and in this order. Okay, and then finally, leave a mission statement that tells us your, um, the future phases of the project along, you know, basically address your strategic plan of action, like how are you going to implement the design strategy? Okay, and that's what I'll be looking for next week. No, um, let me check one thing here. Yes, okay, uh, your research citations are absolutely um, required, okay, and that's in uh, okay. my my word is seriously freaking out. It seems um, that CMS um, formatting. So please, please include your citations. Okay. If you have any questions, Nikki, just give me a holler. I'll be I'll be glad to see if I can clarify. Okay. Thank you very much. Good job.